The Ministry of Defense has awarded a contract to Astra Rafael Comsis Private Limited for the supply of 93 software-defined radios at a cost of 843 crore rupees. The DRDO has successfully conducted the final ground-based test of SFDR missile, and now air-to-air -air tests of Astra Mark III missile will begin. Tyson Marine Systems has proposed a partnership with Mazagin Dock Ship Builders to create a joint manufacturing hub for building submarines and other naval assets such as surface vessels and autonomous marine vehicles. A student at the International Institute of Information Technology Hyderabad has developed an innovative optical flow tracking algorithm that will significantly enhance Indian Navy's capability to detect and track drones, aircraft and helicopters. During a recent joint patrols by Chinese and Russian Air Forces over the Sea of Japan, Chinese Air Forces J-16 had to return after covering only 800 km, despite boasting the theoretical range of 4,000 km, mainly due to high fuel consumption of the Chinese-built WS-10 engines. Bangladesh Air Force is interested to procure 16 J-10C fighter jets from China in the first phase. India, Iran and Armenia held the second trilateral consultation to discuss close cooperation in International North-South Transport Corridor. A high-level joint Apex board meeting was chaired by the RDO Chief and Indian Air Force Vice Chief to discuss key aerospace projects. While the procurement of the MQ-9B drone comes with a hefty price tag of around $100 million per unit, Navy officials have said that the system will lead to a substantial reduction in operating costs over time. A retired Major General of the Indian Army and Global Military Analyst has said that for any country, an ideal composition of military equipment should include 30% state-of-the-art equipment. 60% current generation equipment, and only 10% obsolete inventory. He also said, that unlike developmental projects that take years to mature, purchasing operationally ready equipment like the Su-57 ensures immediate integration into the force structure. India's $6 billion project 75I to build six conventional diesel-electric submarines has already been delayed by a year, and new reports indicate that further delays are expected, because of contractor complaints over whether proper procedures were followed during tests at sea. About a half dozen objections were raised by local contractors, as the Indian Navy came close to picking a winner following crucial field trials in June. The nature and timing of the complaints raise questions about whether the contractors are trying to stall the project because they fear losing out. Indian Air Force's Su-30 fighter jets will soon be equipped with the RDO-developed dual-color missile approach warning system, which will significantly enhance the survivability and situational awareness. The DC MOS is designed to operate in the mid-infrared spectrum, enabling precise identification of approaching missiles across generations. Its dual-color capability can efficiently differentiate missile threats from non-threatening sources such as sunlight reflections or background radiation. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.